I married Joe. What a girl, what a world, what a life. Oh, I married Joe. What a mind, love is blind, what a wife. Joan Davis. With Jim Backus in I I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. No, there's nobody here by that name. Yes, madam, I'm absolutely sure. There is no Snooky Ooky Wookums at this number. <laughs> well, that's funny, Brad. Just the second woman that called this evening, the first one wanted to talk to Snuggly Ugly. Well, Joan, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to break with you. I, I, I got a phone call today from Chicago. Uncle Edgar is coming here for a visit. Uncle Edgar? Your Uncle Edgar? Well, I'm afraid so. Fortunately, he's just passing through town. He'll only be able to stay here three days. Then those phone calls, Snooky, Ooky, Wookum, Snuggly, Ugly, they were for your Uncle Edgar. I don't know how they find out he's coming. It's a mass hysteria of women over 50. Well, this time we're just going to have to hold him down. Now, Brad, this is serious. You're a judge, a public official. Last time with all this women nonsense, well, it was very embarrassing for him. Well, you never know what a lonely old man is going to do for companionship. Remember the last time he was here for three days? And for three months, the living room was full of sobbing grandmothers. It took six more months to dry out the sofa. <laughs> I wonder what he's got. Well, it beats me, honey. Well, look, at, he's not handsome. No. He's skinny. Yes. He hasn't got any money. What can these old ladies see in him? Well, he must have a spark that lights up old ladies. <laughs> well, I better go up the attic and get his favorite rocker. Brad? Yes? This time, we're not going to let him out of the house. Well, he's only going to stay here for three days. We'll be able to hold the fort. For three days, we've got to keep his mind off of... We've got to keep his mind away from... Well, his mind can go wherever it wants to, but Uncle Edgar is staying right here. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like a nice, quiet evening at home. Uh, how about uh, playing a game of some kind, huh? Oh, that's a great idea. What kind of a game would you like to play, Uncle Edgar? Uh, checkers. A cribbage. A dominoes. Casino. Blackjack. Fantan. A Joan. Mahjong. Monthly pay. A Joanie. Water polo. A lover. Plain polo. A Joan, will you stop? I can't. I'm rolling. Lacrosse. <laughs> Head shrinking. No, Joan. Let Uncle Edgar do his own choosing. What is your favorite pastime, Uncle Edgar? Well, Brad. I, I mean, uh, isn't there something else you'd like to do? I think I'd go for a little walk. Okay. Uh, Uncle Edgar, um, how about popping some popcorn? Oh, that's wonderful. Sitting around with some nice hot buttered popcorn. I, I, I think I'd go for a little walk. I can't uh, no, no. <laughs> Uncle Edgar, I knew you'd want to pop some popcorn. Now, uh, you bring Uncle Edgar in the kitchen and I'll get everything all ready. All right, be right there, Joni. <laughs> oh, isn't that a great idea? Come on, Uncle Edgar, come on. Ah, oh, here we are, Uncle Edgar. Come and sit down. There we are, all set to go. Say, Joan, that's a whole sack of popcorn, huh? Oh, yes, they had a sale on at the market theater side. Oh, I see. Well, listen, let's let's put some more in, huh? Oh, no, oh, be let's very live. careful. Be very oh, careful. Oh, dear, don't worry about old Brad. Here we are. How's that? That's <laughs> it. Uh. Brad, yes? you help me with this plug. Oh, that's the plug I did. tricked the other day. I don't know. I file it with the knife. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, now, I'll get the butter heated. All right, we're about ready to go. You know, Uncle Edgar, there's nothing like nice, hot, buttered popcorn, is there? <laughs> yes, indeed. You shouldn't let me go for a little walk. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Don't be silly. 
really. Popcorn parties are such fun. Oh. And it'll be starting soon. Oh, sure will. Yes, indeed. You know, there's nothing cheerier than the sound of corn popping. <laughs> Brad, it doesn't sound so cheery anymore. Well, I uh, wonder what can be wrong. Still, see, you should let me go for a little walk. Hey, that sounds fair. I know, dear. I'm scared. Well, that's your... He's a diehard in the bunch. <laughs> Uncle Edgar. Uncle Edgar. Where's Uncle Edgar? Uncle Edgar? I don't think he's here. Huh? Oh, Brad, we've got to drag the kitchen for Uncle Edgar. No, 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 wait a minute, Joan, Joan. Uncle Ed Edgar is gone. Gone? Oh, we couldn't be, Brad. Uncle Edgar. Ed Uncle Edgar. Joan, Joan. <laughs> You don't think that Uncle Edgar deliberately dumped all of this popcorn in here just so he could... Sure, sure, that's how he made his getaway. <laughs> we oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He was, he was reading the paper just before we... Before yes, here it is. Look, look, honey, there's, a, there's an ad he marked. We have 603 women in our files, all of them waiting for you. <laughs> Sunshine Social Club. 1016 South Bun. We've got to get down there right away. Oh, no, lover. I'll go get Uncle Edgar. Uh, you clean up the kitchen, dear. Better hurry. Uncle Edgar works awfully fast. Mush! <laughs> Oh, how you do? Won't you sit down? Thank you. Now, may I help you, madam? Well, I'm looking for a man. I understand perfectly. You do? Yes, of course. It's too bad you're a woman. It is? Oh, if you were a man, you'd have a much wider selection. Well, I'm looking for a particular man. Well, none of our men are too particular. <laughs> how are the men we're interested in? Well, uh... Between 60 and 70. Oh, well, in that case, we have just what you want. Mr. Hotchkiss, front and center. <laughs> this is Mr. Hotchkiss. Delighted, my dear. And this is... Uh, what was your name, please? Uh, Mrs. Stevens. This is Mrs. Stevens. Charmed, my dear. Oh, I know you two will hit it right off. Oh, but you can't, you dance. Oh, some other time. <laughs> <kind. Thank> you. <laughs> <laughs> I love to dance. to music. Thank <laughs> you. 
understand. I'm not looking for a man for myself. I'm looking for my Uncle Edgar, Edgar Stevens. The Edgar Stevens? Then he has been here. I think he will be one of our hottest items. Well, I hope you didn't give him any ladies' names. Well, Mrs. Stevens, I think I know when Fortune smiles upon our little organization. I gave him the entire female enrollment. 603 names. Uh, where did he go? I believe he mentioned something about buying a motorcycle. <laughs> Mrs. Stevens, where did you get that crazy stair step? Oh, Betty, how are you, Hello, dear? John. Good to see oh, you. I haven't seen you for so long. What a day this has been. Sit down, dear. Would thank you like you. some coffee, honey? Uh, no, no, thank you very much. I'm afraid that my errand isn't a pleasant one. It's about your Uncle Edgar. You too? Oh, you poor dear. Please, please, join me. I didn't come about myself. Oh, well, that's a relief. How'd he miss you? This is no joking matter. My cook, who's been with me for 12 years, has given notice. She says she can't cook with a broken heart. And there are two more cooks and one housekeeper just in this block alone who have given notice. Why, one poor dear fell off the back of his motorcycle. Missy. I, I know this must be embarrassing for you. Well, it doesn't matter about me, but Brad is very worried about it. Well, he should be. Yes, for his sake, I've got to do something about Uncle Edgar. The way these middle-aged women throw themselves at him. Oh, if there was only some woman who would turn the tables on him, make him fall for her, and then spurn him utterly. Unfortunately, they all fall for him. Yes, I know. Where could I find someone vibrant, exciting, and able to resist Uncle Edgar? Where? Where? Me. <laughs> Uncle Edgar, breakfast is ready. Uncle Edgar. Good morning. Good morning, Junie. See, now, that, that looks awful nice, dear. Well, I hope so. I suppose you'll be going out this evening. This evening? Well, I got one or two things lined up, yes. Well, oh, that's too bad. Why? Oh, nothing, nothing at all. Huh. It's just that uh, my Aunt Susie is coming to town this evening. Your Aunt Susie? It, does she look anything like you, Joni? No, oh, very much. <laughs> Almost like an older sister. Yeah. I might be able to get back by eight. Oh, no, Uncle Edgar, I wouldn't expose you to Aunt Susie. Well, it's, it's all in the day's work, Junie. Aunt Susie is a uh, vampire. In a nice way, of course. I never met a vampire. Well, that's just it. You never met anyone like Aunt Susie. No? No. Hundreds of men have been crushed underneath her chariot wheels. Yet, Aunt Susie remains untouched. No man has ever reached her heart. No man ever shall. Yeah, I'd kind of like to take her to dinner. Hey, Uncle Edgar, proceed at your own risk. Have to break a little date, though. <laughs> Where will I tell her to meet you? At, at the Cozy Corner Cafe on Jefferson, 7 o'clock. Another unhappy female. Uncle Edgar, how are you able to go around breaking so many women's hearts? Well, I get a pretty fast motorcycle. <laughs> uh, Aunt uh, Susie? Uh, you must be Uncle Edgar. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, sit down. I don't mind if I do. Say now, Joni has told me an awful lot about her, Aunt Susie. Oh, and Joni's told me a lot about Uncle Edgar. You devil. <laughs> oh. Of course, you don't believe any of that, do you? Oh. Hello. <laughs> see now, it's been a long time since I've seen a woman use a fan. 
And you handled it mighty prettily, my dear. Oh, it's nothing, really. Edgar! Agatha! So this is the business you broke our date for. Now, Agatha, dear... Don't Agatha, dear me. You said this was our little hideaway when you brought me here yesterday, and that I was the only one in the world for you. I only came to this horrid little place because it made me feel closer to you. Oh, what a fool I've been. And to think that you prefer this... this... this old hussy. Oh, hussy, well, now, just a dirty minute, I... Yeah, how could you? Yes, Edgar, how could you, the poor thing? Oh, you old... <laughs> Come on, let's eat. That female hysterics kind of give me an appetite. <laughs> well, I'm not taking any chances on any more scenes, I know that. I tell you, uh, let you and I go to Joni's, and I'll whip us up a little hassen pfeffer. I'm a mighty fine cook. Well, I never turned down a good cook, or a bad one either, for that matter. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'll answer the phone in the bedroom, Edgar. Uh, you put the kettle on. But, uh, Susie, uh, but, but Susie, aren't you... <laughs> Hello? Hello, honey. How about jumping into a pretty dress and I'll pick you up for dinner? Well, Brad, I thought you were staying in town to have dinner with Judge Peterson. Well, that's the point. He just phoned me. He's bringing his sister. As long as there's another woman, we might as well make it a foursome. Well, Brad, I might as well tell you, I figured out a way that I... Uh, I'm getting awful hungry, sweetie. I'll be right with you, Edgar. As I was saying, I, I'm much too tired this evening. But... May I ask, uh... Um, you're not married, huh? Oh, that should be no concern of yours, Edgar Stevens. You go through life trailing a string of broken hearts behind you. Well, it, it's just that it's taken me a lot longer to find the right one. That's all. <laughs> they don't believe one word. Well, you know, there comes a time in the life of every man when he wants to... Johnny! Johnny, where are you? You make yourselves comfortable and I'll... <laughs> I hope you can talk her into coming with us. It'll make me feel so much better. <laughs> You're right with you. I'll see where she is. Joan! Uh, Edgar, no, I no, think no, I... No, no, no. Now, like I was saying, there comes a time in the life of every Joan, man... Joan, are you upstairs? Uh, excuse me, Edgar. I'd better tell Brad that Joan is not at home. Uh, but, 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 Susie, I... I'd like you to meet Judge Peterson and his sister Agatha. This is my wife, Mrs. Stevens. Well, how do you do? Uh, sit down, Judge. <laughs> we no. thought we'd take a chance into talking you into coming to dinner with us after all, dear. I'm afraid it's my fault. <laughs> I guess I, I just need another woman to talk to. <laughs> oh, no, Agatha. Agatha. See, she had a terrible shock today. A man she was interested in turned out to be nothing but a trifler. Broke an appointment with her, using business as an excuse, and then she found him later with another woman. Another woman? Oh! Yeah. If I ever see her again, so help me, I'll scratch her eyes out, the old husband. Oh, now, you can't blame her too much, my dear. But he's the one I'd like to get my hands on. That, that Edgar! Oh! Edgar! <laughs> Is that Uncle Edgar out in the kitchen? Well, who's Susie? Well, you mean he's got one in the house? Joan! <laughs> Mrs. Stevens, could my sister have a glass of water, please? Of course. You keep Uncle Edgar out there in the kitchen. Okay. And I'll go find Susie and get her out of here. <laughs> you do that. Susie. Uh, Susie! Oh, Joni, you're back. 
Yeah. Well, where's Susie? Well, that's what I meant to tell you, Uncle Edgar. Aunt Susie's got an awful headache. So I'll tell you what you do. You go on out the back and live it up tonight, no, will you? Well, no, I, I don't want to go out. If, if Susie isn't feeling well, my place is by her side. I want to go to her. No, no, no. You can't go in there. But, but I must. She may need me. If I send Aunt Susie back here to you, will you be a good boy and wait right here? All right, I'll, I'll finish my dinner. for wanting to comfort me. But with this awful headache, I wouldn't be any fun for you at all. Now you just go out and you have a good time, old boy. You grateful little minx, you. Are you bringing a glass of water? Uh, oh, excuse me, I'll be right back. Uh, but Susie, I'll... I'll be right back, Edgar. You... <laughs> Oh, I'm awfully sorry I took so long. Thank you. Uh, she was attending to my elderly uncle. Uh, uncle Willie. Not too well, you know. Well, wouldn't it be wiser, I mean, nicer, if we all went out to dinner right now? Well, yes. Susie! Where are you, Susie? <laughs> That's Uncle Willie's nurse, Susie. Shall I come and get you, sweetie? Loves his nurse. <laughs> and stop calling me. Susie <laughs> Cairns, you come back here this minute or I'm coming out here after you. Here I come. I'll find you, you little dickens. <laughs> She's fainted. Will you get some water? <laughs> Out of my way, you cat! <laughs> <laughs> This woman with you. Oh, come, on. Oh, come on, come on. Now get out, both of you. I just. Hey! Guess who? Joan! What's going on here? I give up. He's your uncle. You entertain him. Well, I'm going to bed. Susie. Uncle Edgar. Good morning, Uncle Edgar. Uh, What's the matter? I'm, I'm mad at you, Joni. Crazy about Aunt Susie and, and now there ain't any. Well, we're pretty mad at you, too. Especially Agatha Peterson. Yeah. You know, I never realized that Agatha had so much fire. Now, come to think of it, there's a lot of Aunt Susie and Agatha. Where are you going, Uncle Edgar? I think I'll pay Agatha a little visit. <laughs> oh. Hey, Brad. Uh, yes? Aren't you a little nervous about when I grow old? Oh, huh? well, why should I be? Well, if I'm anything like Aunt Susie, watch out. <laughs> Tonight's cast were Robert Sweeney, Robert Jellison, Kathleen Freeman, Dorothy Adams, Robert Pike, and Richard Keene.